Wait, buddy, what'd you say you were doing? I'm doing a video. Show me. So, guys, over here, a right ground and still I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that's how my filming goes sometimes, too. So welcome back guys. We are continuing the work on remodeling our house, this living room area of the house. And behind me in the last video you saw, we got all of the, the paneling ripped out and we found some pretty significant termite damage in these wall studs. And I'm happy to say I've got these studs ripped out. Got very, very fortunate with the top plate and the bottom plate. There's some very minor surface damage on those two pieces, but nothing that requires me removing them. So that's gonna save a ton of time. So. At this point, uh, I've got all of the nails out, or cut off rather, I've got all these studs out, all the purlins out, and uh, got a piece of Tyvek up here to further weatherproof the house and draft proof the house because this house is naturally just a little bit drafty because it was an off-grid cabin in the woods. So at this point, we need to put new studs up and then we can get some insulation up and move on down the wall. I wanted to show you all a comparison here between the old studs that came out of the wall and the new studs that we're about to put in and granted i haven't made this comparison yet and it's looking like the old ones are a whole lot narrower than the new ones i'll have to go double check the wall uh, these are like three and three quarter and these are right at four i'll have to go double check the wall just to make sure that's going to fit but anyway the point of me showing you all this is to show that these are true two by fours this looks like about two right here that's a hair over two that's a hair under two but these are the boards that i milled i guess it was yesterday on the last video that y'all should have seen by now uh, these were milled in order to go into the walls custom milled lumber to replace lumber that you just can't pick up at a big box store so I went in and double checked and this new board is gonna match the bottom plate just about perfectly. The top plate is a little bit wider than this is. It's pretty interesting, this house, it was built out of a very old church building that at the time in 1979 was 125 years old. So the construction in this house is pretty crude and my dad always says that it was basically built with a chainsaw and a claw hammer and uh, that was about it. So we're just gonna do the best we can. All right, guys, so at this point, this little section of the wall is complete and ready for some insulation. So we're gonna move on over here. And I've been digging at it just a little bit and we've got some pretty serious damage on this bottom plate. The subfloor is still looking great, thankfully. Uh, right here where is where one of the sinks used to be. So uh, undoubtedly this was a moist place and they just kinda, uh, kinda set up shop right in here it looks like. But that bottom plate is wrecked, of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come all the way over here and cut out the bottom plate to about right here and replace it that direction. From here to the left is still pretty solid. This stud right here has got very minimal damage, not enough to uh, warrant ripping it out. That one's gotta go. Uh, these other two are okay. And we're gonna start on this wall right here. This is gonna be a brand new framed up window. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice. So let's go ahead and get started.
So I've uncovered a little more damage right here on this stud that I thought was okay. And it's not the greatest stud ever, but that's pretty much sapwood. Undoubtedly, this is a heart pine, heart pine stud right here, and it's got a lot of solid stuff toward the middle. I'm not super worried about this stud, and I'm not going to replace it because I'm framing up a window going that direction, and there's going to be a pretty heavy duty, probably a double stud right here. So this one is this is really not that serious, and again, it's it's still fairly solid. Not perfect, but solid. Solid enough. You can also see we've got some termite damage right here in this seam between the two boards that are siding on the outside of the house. It's um, fairly extensive right here in the crack. It, thankfully, it doesn't spread throughout the entire board. Um, I can't do anything about that really from the inside of the house. That's a siding problem, and that's that's a, that would be a different project altogether if I decided to tackle it. Before we start ripping out all these studs, I wanted to kind of explain what's going on in this area. So where that piece of cardboard there, there's a window, just a hole behind there that I've been trying to seal up. But right here you can see there's some half studs that almost look like they've been hewn out with, uh, looks like it was probably cut with a circular saw and then chinked out or something like that. But I just kind of wanted to mention what was originally here because I had to ask my dad what was going on here because it was awfully strange looking and he said originally there was a sliding window that recessed into the wall right here and that's why half of this stud has been cut out and uh, he said it was drafty incredibly drafty and it was just about tight enough to keep the cat out and that was all so I wanted to mention that I thought that was really really interesting that there actually used to be a sliding window uh, where this uh, where this current window sits No, I didn't, buddy. I've been right here working on this stuff. I couldn't see it from here. I'm sorry. There's a wall in my way. Guys, you remember earlier in this video, I mentioned that the siding was kind of a project for another day. Well, I was, I was wrong about that. It's actually a project for today. Farther I go into this wall, the more bad stuff that I find. This wall right here, it was behind a sink. It was the old kitchen and lots of moisture obviously got back here and the termites really did a number on this. And this siding is just way too far gone for me to feel good about trying to reuse it so we're going to take this section out all the way hope y'all can see this to this stud right here and uh, that's going to go a long way with making me making me feel good about this
came out easier than I thought it was. This is what I'm talking about right here. There's no way that I could have left this in there and felt okay about it. guys y'all can kind of see these siding boards are going down in this crack between the port slab right here and uh and the studs which would be right here the seal right here and i'm just trying to get those out the farther you go that way uh, it seems to be more and more solid for the most part going that direction but over here again there was a sink over here and uh, they just they just wrecked this area so this is as far as i'm going but i hope that y'all can see this i'll try to zoom it in just a little but right here I can get a view of the sill and these sills look almost brand new. They were pressure treated lumber. It wasn't reused lumber from the church building that was torn down. Good brand new double two by eight sill uh, pressure treated right here. So I am incredibly thankful to have a really good sill uh, to work with here. That would be, I don't even know what I would do if the sills were rotten. I got to the point in the day where I had to quit. I was getting tired, things weren't working so good, and I could just see a very quick decline in everything <laughs> coming very quickly. So I went ahead and just stuck some Tyvek up here just to plug this hole for the night, and I desperately hope the wind doesn't blow tonight because if you have any experience with this stuff, you know that it's really loud and any kind of a breeze is going to make it do that all night. Uh, one of the things that went wrong is the framing nailer went out on me completely. There was a time when it would shoot every other 
trigger pull, which I could kind of deal with, but now it just doesn't shoot at all. So I'm going to get a new one of those tonight because I'm not going to do this with a hammer. Y'all have seen my hammering skills on the channel and it's just really not all that pretty. Another thing that I ran into, another problem was this window right here. Um, the stud that I put in over here, we originally thought that that's where we wanted the window, but we got to looking at it and said, no, we want it over a little bit farther. So I'm going to move this tomorrow, uh, get everything framed up, hopefully tomorrow and we'll go from there. But tonight I'm going to be done with it. So that's pretty encouraging to see as, as I mentioned yesterday as we go over that way things seem to get a little more solid as we get closer to the door and that was certainly the case with this piece of siding and the only reason I took it out is because we're trying to move this window down eight or so inches somewhere along in there but I'm really happy to see that this is solid. This is the brand new one. Maybe it has to have a certain amount of nails. I don't know. I guess so. Where are you heading? Huh? Where are you heading? There's a, why is there a board that you're blocking me? Well, it's not blocking you. You're short enough to walk right through. There's a board there because there's going to be a window up there soon. Yeah. Yep. Where are you going? To the playground. Have fun. Miracles happen. Sometimes on all four corners. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only square thing in this house. <laughs> Do 
So guys, we've got this window framed up right here, except what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and move it over this direction and put another one here because this house was, was originally built on 24 inch centers and that's kind of the tradition I'm continuing for the most part. And the insulation that I bought is four houses that have 24 inch centers on the stud. So I'm gonna move this over to make a 24 inch center here, 24 inch over here. And in the middle here, it'll be closer to uh, 18 and a half inch center something like that and we'll just have to cut some insulation to go here but I think it probably needs some extra cripples here anyways but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll try to put this uh, this window in <laughs> and my wife is happy about that so there's gonna be two windows right here mold together uh, but first before I do all of that and I'm not doing that on camera by the way because I've never mold windows together and there's only so much so much I can do on camera. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I think this is gonna look, I think this is gonna be just right. Ooh. You like? I like. It fits. That's uh, about 95% of the battle making it fit. <laughs> <laughs> And it fits on both sides. How about that? So I've decided that I'm actually going to show this on camera, mulling these two windows together. And uh, it, this is more, this is really not an instructional type situation. So there may be a better way to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going, this, this window has got four sides, four, I don't even know what these are called, these flares right here that mount to the studs or I've, I've seen in some pictures it actually mounts to the plywood on the outside, but in this situation it's going to mount to my studs. And I'm going to take these snips and I'm going to just cut this flush with the window and I'll do the same with the other one. And then there's going to be a PVC piece of trim or a PVC board that goes between them with brackets on the top and the bottom. So uh, let's just get started and uh, I hope that this, hope that this works out because this is this is uncharted territory for me. You want this one on that side? Yeah, flip it over. I guess we'll work from the bottom. Oh. Or actually, your your idea makes a lot more sense now that I think about it. Let's try that. Sure didn't go through much, man. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to go through. Hey, far. look here. Whoa! Stick your bit back through there. Can you see it through? Yeah. There? I don't bust a seam. Bust a weld. Yeah, it won't split it. I hope. Steady. Pretty steady. It's stronger than I thought it was yeah. going to be. Guys, that worked out a, uh, a lot better than I expected it to work out, especially for my first time doing something like that. I did have a small moment of panic when I walked in here and opened this window, and it only went up to there, but it's just these little things right here. And we're good. 
I think that's a pretty good place to end this video for the day. I'm not going to do anything else today except put up this Tyvek. And uh, tomorrow is going to be some insulation work. But I am, I cannot say how proud I am and happy I am that this window is up. This is the first time I've ever mulled a window together. We started talking about what we wanted to do with this remodel. And uh, we really couldn't figure out what to do with windows and stuff like that. Big, huge windows, of course, are really, really expensive. So we didn't want to fork over tons of money for just one solid window. Yet that's kind of what we wanted. But we figured out that we could do this. We can mull these windows together. And I found mull kits and stuff like that on the internet. And I still didn't really understand the concept entirely. But I went to Home Depot and a lot of times you don't get the greatest help at some of those big box stores but this time i went and there was a guy there who had obviously had a construction experience and i told him what i wanted to do and he just rattled off everything that i needed everything that i needed to do and uh this is the result and i'm just totally proud of it the only gripe i've got here is this piece of pvc board right here that i used in the middle is not exactly the same color as this window we might be able to fix that with something i'm not really sure there's going to have to be a little bit of caulking done here as well because it's not a perfect seal of course but other than that i'm just i'm just thrilled with it just totally thrilled with it um the frame turned out really good good and solid and uh, no complaints about this one i'm super happy so guys i really appreciate you watching and following along with this project and uh i'll see y'all on the next one and also a big shout out to my uncle who just came over and gave me uh, the screws that i needed for that and also some lifting help so couldn't have done it without him um but that's gonna do it thank y'all for watching i'll see you on the next one Life won't wait